This is Ryan, my second time visiting Old Elk. And, and I have I have had it since the first time we tried it with the neck bore, and it is entirely different. So let me just preface before we get into this actual tasting. The first time it was cocoa. Yeah, it Start was Start to all finish, cocoa, it was a cocoa bomb. Yeah, it was a cocoa it bomb. Was, it was very just you know a little bit was, sweet, a little bit of spice, just a standard. A little good. bit of a, a like a dark berry kind of fruity sweetness, but it was definitely like there's definitely a difference between a weeded sweeter bourbon and a malted sweeter bourbon because right. it was like you got the distinctly more malty notes you got a more fruit you got more of the again we got cocoa from it mm -hmm. um, we didn't really get any of the traditional bourbon sweetness we, we didn't get brown sugar we didn't get cinnamon we didn't get vanilla mm -hmm. really at all so that being said let's see how this has opened up in a week banana pudding banana pudding banana pudding banana pudding it is, that is all, it's actually like the note I get. I don't, I can't pick a ton more out. Because I mean, banana pudding covers like graham cracker, banana, and vanilla, and then cream. And that's all you get on the nose. Banana, mm -hmm. vanilla, cream. You get a little bit of like that lappy taffy artificialness, but like. I'm loving the nose of this. Actually. Yes. Yeah. I um, love banana. And this is. This is really. This isn't what I expected. You, 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 We've you had you about, Ryan, this this about make me act up. This about make me go get a bottle. <laughs> I don't even have money for it, and I'm about to go buy it. We've had single barrels of this, and... It was nothing like this at all. The single barrels just smelled like a generic, boring, low-proof bourbon. Mm -hmm. Somehow this is better than the single barrel. And, like, it wasn't like that was bad, either. I actually enjoyed the regular... The, the um... Single barrel, too. Mm. But, because eventually there'll be a video up of that, because I did record that mm. when we were there. Yeah. So. All right, let's... Palette's kind of light, which is expected. It's 88 proof. You get a little bit of that banana up front. It's definitely more of like a Laffy Taffy taste than it is on the nose. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of vanilla from like the oak and then I just get some like pepper and oak spice and then mm -hmm. it just kind of fizzles out after that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. not bad. It's good. It's solid. Like it, I, this is definitely like a 5 out of 10 I think. Like, I yeah, would definitely, right middle of the road. Very middle now of the road. And that's keeping in mind that the best bottle we've ever had in our life is a 10 out of 10. Like yeah. maybe. Uh, I would say maybe 9.5. I would say I've had a couple of 10s. Like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof uh, B520, I would say, is a 10. Okay. Um, but yeah, keeping in mind that a, fi a 5 out of 10 sounds bad, but when we're talking on a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of how this whiskey stacks up against everything, that just means it's, it's middle of the road. Like, it's... Like, 5 is the average. Most whiskeys will be a 5. Right. Most will be a 5. It's a bell curve. I look at it yeah. like a bell curve. Yeah, and it's... The nose made me want to go buy a bottle. The, the palate makes me a little more hesitant to go actually buy it. Makes you want to wait for a store pick. Yes. See, I'm, the, I'm the super barrel store this. pick was so different. Um, I mean, this is really good. And if I would have bought this, I would have had no regrets. This is one of those things where having not bought it and I'm sitting here trying it, I don't know if I would go out and buy it. I feel that. I think but this it is, is really good. I think this is one of those things where palate, like palettes differ because you definitely like this way better than both of us. Yeah. And that's kind of the crazy thing about whiskey is like you can objectively say something is good or not, but whether it really sticks with you is right. a different thing. It's like a, a thirty dollar bottle could stick with me and a two hundred dollar bottle wouldn't when you could have it the other way around where that thirty dollar bottle is undrinkable and that two hundred dollar bottle is the best thing you've ever had in your life. Or even that being said, you could have something in the same price range. Like mm -hmm. say two sixty dollar bottles, not creek twelve and um, Four Roses Small Batch Select. Mm -hmm. Both of those are high quality whiskeys, and I will I'll not take tough. I would Exactly. But, but again, there are people who would take the Small Batch because if you're going to get a little more spice out of that Small Batch Select. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's it's a, a higher rock. It's a it's, different whiskey. It's more herbal. It's more fruity. I will say, just saying, I have been absolutely fucking up the Legion. Dude, Legion There's is so, so much, good. There's so much peanut note to it, and it builds as it airs out. I love, love Legion. Again, I can't say enough good things about like Jim Beam. Again, 
I am a Freddy, Fred, Freddy no knows what he's doing. All of the knows sure. Dude, you do realize that the nose and the beams, like who own mm -hmm. the Jim Bean Distillery, they have had like a hand in every single major distilling company mm -hmm. in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Like Parker's Heritage, that whiskey from Heaven Hill, that was an honor of Parker Bean, who was the master distiller for mm -hmm. Heaven Hill. Yeah. Like Jim Bean's nephew or something like that. Like it's crazy, it's crazy how much that family has like pretty much influenced the entirety of like Kentucky bourbon. Mm -hmm. But that being said, yeah, this. The I I actually, actually like the neck pour more personally. Interesting. This isn't bad. I like the neck pour more. I think. I like those cocoa notes. This is pushing me very very quickly to want to buy the store picks online that I've been seeing. I can agree to that. Because the store picks are like, I think, $20 more. See, so this is behaving to me so far as the Makers 101 is to you, where you love the neck pour, and if it would have stayed that way, you would have absolutely loved that bottle. But now it's at a point where, you know, you don't love it, you don't hate it. You would probably put that one around a five, too, right? Five, maybe a six. I'd probably put it. I think I would actually put it at a four. Okay. Because there's way more things at a five I would drink over Makers well, that's 101. that's true. But um, point being how, like, you went from putting it at probably like a six or a seven, maybe, yeah. when you first tried it, given price and all those factors, and now you put it at like a four or five. I would say a four. That's how I see this, is I would probably put it at a seven, now I put it at a five. Where it's still good, I still really like it, but again, it doesn't, it doesn't, the nose jumps out to me, and yeah. I love the nose on this, but the, the body and the finish don't really jump out as much to me anymore. Yeah. I gotta give this a solid five, because I mean, like, other, like, the other things I would compare this to, like, flavor-wise, I'm not even factoring in price, mm -hmm. like, this fits in with Old Tub, this fits in with, uh, let's see, what else am I thinking of at that price range? Pretty much any, like, the standards, like, Buffalo Trace, like, this You know how much this is, right? This is, like, 40, right? 50. It's 50? Yeah, even still for the taste, like, I'm yeah. not factoring in taste with this right now. Uh -huh. Like, if I'm going to, like, rate something on how I like it, I don't necessarily factor in taste. Because, right. like, I mean, sure, I would say George T. Stagg is a 10 out of 10. If you wanted me to factor in the price, I probably couldn't say that because it's selling for, like, over $1,000 a bottle now. Yeah. But, again... For $50 and one ounce pour, which yeah. is Jesus Christ. Happy but, birthday! Yeah. Again, I appreciate that. Ryan, and, when's your birthday? Uh, like, three weeks Okay, perfect. <laughs> sounds like we're going back to uh, the Warren. Yeah, sounds like I'll be having cheek pours because I'm poor. <laughs> you can't you can't talk about cheek pours without talking about poor. What's this about cheek pours? I like cheek pours. Do you have any? <laughs> Old elk, everybody. <laughs>